Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to use ChatGTP for YouTube. Now you can do a lot with this and the cool thing about it is that not only I'm going to give you some titles, I'm also going to write the script, at least most of it, and show you how it's done. And then I'm going to write the YouTube description for it. So pretty much you'll have just about almost everything you need aside from the video itself. Heck, if I have enough time, I can even do some tags for it as well. Let's begin. So starting off, let's say we want to do a video. I pasted this in because I have a notepad open, which I'll show you after. I said, give me 10 unique YouTube titles for a video regarding tips to grow your online business. So what you can do here, if you want to kind of use this as a template, you don't have to do 10. You can just say, give me unique YouTube titles for a video regarding, and then change this tips for growing uh, better flowers in your garden, tips for cooking the tastiest chicken, tips for going to the gym for the first time. And you know, whatever it's going to be, obviously that's the part you can edit. Let's hit enter and see what we get. All right, so looking through quickly, 10 proven tips, the ultimate guide for scaling, maximizing your business potential. Uh, just to make this a little bit of a quicker tutorial, like I don't wanna use all 10 of these that would take forever. So what I'm gonna do is paste in the next section, which is gonna be for an outline. I'll show you right here. So we have our title, okay? These are gonna be kind of the prompts that you can use. Next, we have the outline. OK, and it's going to say for a video that's titled and we can put in our title right here after. After that, we want a quick hook and introduction. Then, of course, we can do each paragraph in the conclusion. We're going to have our video script. After we're done with that, we can utilize this to create our video description. So you can put that content down below and also give it a little bit more information. Don't worry, I'll get to all these steps and, you know, follow along as we go. So next is going to be the outline. Let's say I go with this one. And I'm just going to do two, like I said, just to keep it shorter. You know, if you want to go longer with this, it's going to be very easy to do once you know the process. But I'm going to write this and let's see what we get. All right, great. So what I did is actually create a Google Doc. What I'm also going to do is just highlight this. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in there so you can actually see the script. All right, so I pasted that in there. So we have our introduction, which is uh, pretty much going to be the brief overview. If I go here, it's going to be easier to read. So this is part of the introduction. We have strategy one, strategy two, and case studies. Just for, like I said, the purpose of making this quicker, I'm going to remove the case studies. So this would actually be four. Okay, and let me move this so it's easier to see. Okay, and there we go. So we have our each of our sections, just two tips here. And what we can do is go with the introduction. So let's take a look at the notepad that I have here. I put write a quick hook in introduction for a video titled. And then, of course, so we're going to copy this in. And now we have our title. We're going to be using that, which was up here. Two proven strategies. OK, so we're going to be going through each of these sections. So intro is first. Let's see what we get. All right, great. And I quickly skimmed through this. Looks good. You know, do you want to take your business to the next level? You could always have it write another hook. You know, that's going to be up to you. But once again, I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. So obviously we can take off the hook aspect and like introduction. You know, you can keep that there if you want, but this is going to be the introduction section. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one. We now have our first paragraph and I'm looking in the, there we go. So write each paragraph, pretty simple stuff. So Building a strong brand. Let's type in a prompt where we can create some content based about that. Okay, so as you can see here, I put write a couple of paragraphs about building a strong brand. So that's going to be like the main template or prompt you want to use here. So write a couple paragraphs about, let's look at our paragraph, building a strong brand. Then I put, this is a script for a YouTube video called Two Proven Strategies. Once again, I'm saying this is for a title. Uh, it will probably remember that, but I just like giving it some more information most of the times. I said, be sure to talk about some of the steps for creating a strong brand. So I got that right from here. Keep in mind when you have an outline, you don't have to use exactly what they give you, especially if you know the topic really well. You can always just use this as the big tip and then like do it uh, on your own based upon what you know. You can say, so be sure to talk about networking and, you know, chatting with other people and say going to conferences and being everywhere and being omnipresent and advertising and so on and so forth. So that's going to be the next section. Let's generate some content. Yeah. I put a couple paragraphs and we got quite a few. So overall, this is good. I was reading it while it was being written. Uh, it talks about, let's see, it's more than a logo or a catchy slogan. So how do you do it? It talks about the first step and uh, what does your business stand for? What are your unique selling points? Another important aspect of it is having a consistent voice and message uh, and actively promoting it. So good. This is some good content right here. I'm going to copy this and let's paste this in for this section. Perfect. Obviously, you can chop that up, make it look like it doesn't. It's not like a, an essay where, you know, obviously this is harder to read, but 
I don't want to like slow down the video just to make it look better. You get the idea there. Let's do the same thing with the other section. So I put, I'm going to copy this aspect, put a couple of paragraphs. Now we're going to go to the other paragraph about utilizing social media. Okay, so now we have read a couple of paragraphs about utilizing social media. This is for the script about that. And then let's do this. Let's copy this and add it in. Okay, so I just put include a few tips for creating engaging content. Like I said, you can really emphasize on anything you want there, but I'm going to go with that. Let's generate the content. All right, and once again, we got a lot of content here. So it's another important strategy for growing your online business. Uh, let's see, there are a few things to keep in mind. Understand your target audience. Another tip is to mix up the types of content. Stay active and consistent on social media. I'll look at analytics. Great. I'm going to copy this once again. Give me a sec. And let's delete this. Okay, there we go. Looks better. Normally what I do when I copy something like this, I'll just paste it into like a URL and then recopy it. Because if you copy it, like here, I'll show you. If you copy it like this and you put it in a Google Doc, it should have that like white around it. Yeah, you see what I mean? It just looks different and funny. So that's the reason why I'll copy it into a notepad and then pa or paste it into a notepad, recopy it, and then go from there. So that's the uh, reason for that. The reason for my madness. Okay, so last is going to be the conclusion. So pretty simple. Let's see, let's copy our title. Give me a sec, I'll write a prompt. All right, so here we go. Write a one paragraph conclusion for a YouTube video titled, what we have it titled. In this briefly discuss the two tips of building a strong brand as well as utilizing social media. So ChatGPT is very good with this. I've noticed with other, I've used so many AIs and some of them will be like, write a conclusion. You know, it'll talk about two proven strategies, but then the strategies will be like, you know, something completely different that we talked about and that's not good. So I'm going to say write two. It might give us a little bit more, but I think two will be enough. One might be cutting it too short. So here's the last one. Let's do this. All right, great. And I'm going to start reading this as it's still going on. So we have in conclusion there, building a strong brand, defining your brand's mission. So it's recapping that, which is good. And then we go to similarly, uh, utilizing social media can be a powerful tool for promoting and growing your online business. In summary, these two strategies are essential. Remember to always keep an eye on the results and adjust your strategies accordingly. This was great. Let's copy this. And once again, I'm just going to paste it in a notepad. Okay. And after recopying it, you know, this is going to be our conclusion. So perfect. This is our YouTube script right here. Of course, you can always edit that around. Like I said, not a big deal. I'd move this up. This is the hook. And last but not least, we have our uh, description. So write a YouTube description for a video titled, and let's copy this right here. Actually, what I'm going to do is, what was the previous one? There we go. I'm going to copy what we previously did. So uh, just to make my life easier. So we have a description for a video titled that this is what you use below it. And I said in this briefly discuss the two tips of building a strong brand as well as utilizing social media. Okay, let's go. All right, perfect. So I'm going to keep that right there. Uh, one sec. So we have our video script. Uh, we had our title created, we have our intro and hook, we have our conclusion, our paragraphs, our tips, and now we have our YouTube description. So you could probably also generate tags if you want, but I think that's good enough. I think you get the idea. This is a great way of how you can use chat GPT for YouTube or YouTube videos, title summaries, and scripts overall. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.